I start shooting at him. Rocky to you all. Now Rocky, you might hear him in a few more story times later on. Rocky is a close family member of mine and everybody has that one family member where it's just like you got me, I got you. We don't even have to be first cousins. We don't have to be brother and sister, but you got me, I got you because we're blood. And that's how me and Rocky was. So anything I needed, he needed, we was there for each other. And at this point in time, we both were kind of going through a hard time. So, one day, Rocky asked me, can I borrow your car? Okay, cool. Now, Rocky did have a vehicle, but he had to sell it because of, like I said, we were going through a rough time in our lives, both of us at the same time. And so, he had to sell his vehicle. So, I said, okay, cool. He was gone no more than 15, 20 minutes, which I thought was really fast. He came back. But when he came back, he gave my keys to some another family member, and they gave the keys to me. And they said, hey, Rocky just dropped a car off. He wanted me to give you your keys. Cool. I thought it was a little, just a little odd. But hey, I figured maybe he was getting a ride. Maybe he was in a hurry. Who knows? Later on, I get into my car, and there is this... We're going to say chocolate. There was this chocolate, dried chocolate on my steering wheel, all over my steering wheel. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all because I keep my stories a 100% real. If I don't remember the, all the details, I'm going to let y'all know. But it was not a lot of, it was not a lot, but it was noticeable. Who pays attention to the steering wheel? That's how, that's, it was enough to catch my eye. So I was like... If you're going to eat chocolate in somebody's car, you can't wipe off your, wipe off the extra stuff. Like, you can't wipe your hands off. So, I thought it was chocolate. But then, I seen it a little bit. It was like two specks, I believe. If I remember correctly, it was like two specks on the door. And I was like, what was he in here doing? Oh. <laughs> so, a little bit later... I can't remember how we got on the sub. Oh, so I wiped it off with some. I wiped off with a rag and some water. Just didn't think nothing of it. So then a little later, I talked to Rocky, and I can't remember how we got on the subject. But Rocky says, "I was set up today, and they pistol with me. They pistol with me. They tried to rob me." So then it clicked to me. I said, "So wait, that was your blood on my steering wheel." Ew! <laughs> Y'all wrong thing. You know wrong reaction, but I was like, ew. Now, for those who don't know what pistol whipping is, to my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, pistol whipping is when you get knocked upside your head with a weapon. A, a pistol or a gun. Well, they are different types of guns. But you get knocked upside your head with it. Some people get knocked out with it or whatever. But he was knocked upside his head with a pistol. So I was like, wait, when did this happen? <laughs> And then I asked him, I said, wait, who is, who is they? Who is, like, what? And he was like, the dude that was in the car with me, I think, you know, he set me up because I was trying to sell a little something. And I, I had to pause again. You was trying to sell a little something. Now, he was just selling some weed, but he knows damn well. I wanted to say the other word. But he knows damn well that I would not have. Condone him doing that in my car. But he did it. Okay. So I said, so, okay. So you, so you was in my car, trying to sell some weed. Somebody set you up. The pistol whipped you. Then what else happened? Like, what, what did you do? I started shooting at him. Yeah. You started shooting at him. And you in my, you in my car. Oh, God. Y'all, I was just like, oh, what? So I, saw, I was like, did you hit him? Like, did the, did you, when you shot at the dude, did you hit him? He said, I think I hit him because he fell. Shoot, I don't know if he did or not. I don't even care. Yeah. 
you don't care. So you probably, so you could have committed a murder and you drove home in my car. And it's like five hours later and you didn't think to tell me. Like you didn't think to tell me. Y'all. And the thing about it is, like I'm driving around in this car. Who The police could have came after me. People come shooting up a car. I don't know how they shooting up a car. And then, I had a bald head. Y'all had a fade. Y'all had a fade. Rocky had a fade. We both chocolate. Y'all, they, they mistaken identity, y'all. <laughs> mistaken identity so I was y'all I was just livid like I was just so upset I was so mad but at the same time I just wanted to make sure Rocky was okay so yes I went to where Rocky was and his girlfriend answered the door so when Rocky stood up y'all his face was just his face was messed up and I'm not exaggerating they whacked him hard they whacked this boy hard face swollen and I just was like instantly I was already upset at the situation and I was mad because me and Rocky was really close you know even though he kind of crossed me by doing that stuff in my car we were still close so I was just like y'all I was like <sighs> I was just overwhelmed with emotion so he ended up everything ended up being okay the dude ended up not dying and Rocky ended up telling me who the guy was but Dude ended up not dying. I don't even know if the dude got shot to this day. I don't even know if Rocky ended up hitting him. I don't know. But nothing ever came out about it. Y'all, I was scared to drive my car. Y'all was wearing the biggest hoops. I, I want to make sure that I'm a girl. I was a girl. I was not Rocky. <laughs> but yes, y'all. So that's.